The high performer threshing and separation system begins at the main concave. Massey Ferguson has designed a pre-threshing rub bar at the front. This will help boost the cleanliness of the sample, also maximise grain removal through the concave to give you higher output. This concave is very large at 1.18 metres squared, which gives us greater output. The threshing cylinder is the next process. The threshing cylinder is 600 millimetres in diameter and 1.68 metres wide. The added strength to the rasp bars also gives us weight. This extra weight creates an inertial effect to give us the flywheel motion. This flywheel motion as it rotates helps with the undulating crops feeding through the concave and threshing cylinder to keep a more consistent and even speed to maximise threshing potential and maximise output whilst keeping the power levels minimal and saving us fuel consumption. The next stage in the high performer system is the rotor feeder. This large diameter feeder will act like a flywheel, just like the threshing drum, to give us more consistent feed and lower the power requirement and fuel consumption. The rotor feeder will give us a centrifugal force which will help to maximise grain separation and help to transist the crop from the threshing unit directly and smoothly and consistently into the rotors. At the same time, splitting the crop into two parts to feed both rotors. There's a very large separation area below the rotor feeder to maximise grain separation. There is 1.9 metres squared from the front of the main concave to the back to boost output. The loading bay is the next important factor of the combine. Massey Ferguson engineers have designed this to optimise feed from the rotor feeder directly into the high separation rotors. They've made the entry very wide and very deep. This maximises material flow in heavy conditions to reduce the power requirement and minimise fuel consumption. As you can see, the inlet on the rotor is very narrow. This depth is very great again to maximise material flow, to provide a smooth crop flow into the machine, maximising performance. These twin rotors are currently the largest in the market, at 475mm diameter and 42 meters long, to maximise separation potential of the combine. To start with, we have the concaves. Massey Ferguson engineers have designed these to minimise straw damage, to maximise straw quality leaving the machine. At the same time, minimising straw damage passing through the concaves means there's less overloading material passing onto the cleaning system to maximise output. That means we don't have to put any blanking plates below the concaves in dry, brittle conditions. Another factor with these concave grates is that they're designed like fingers, which is nice and smooth. Any build up material on top of these fingers, as the rotor rotates, the material will pull them off, preventing blockages in difficult conditions, again maximising output. Now the rotor has a spiral formation. This helps to reduce power requirement, minimise fuel consumption, at the same time minimising straw damage and have a nice smooth flow passing through the machine. The speed of the rotor can be fully variable from the cab to suit all conditions when you're harvesting to boost performance and maximise productivity. The high separation rotors has a large 3.54 meter squared area to maximize grain removal. That means the Delta Combine has a massive 5.44 meter squared to maximize grain removal, maximize performance. As the crop smoothly progresses to the rear of the combine, we now come to the discharge system. On the end of the rotors, we have a spiral formation. This helps to prevent any crop from wrapping, and that is unique to Massey Ferguson. A straw is directly discharged without any additional components, which reduces the power consumption. The straw can pass through nice and evenly 
and give us high straw quality. The high performance system will maximise productivity for the farmer, also maximise margins.